In today's video, I'm going to talk about a basic problem that every salesperson is facing across the day, and this is sending emails to contacts that ignoring them. When you're sending an email to someone and he's responding, that's easy, that's great, because his email response is motivating you to proceed and take action. From the other side, when you're sending email to someone, if he's not responding, when you're not having a good system, right? So when you're not having a good CRM system, you do not have a way to go back to the person and help him and proceed with the process. Today, I'm going to show you a way. It's a patch, okay? It's a patch for people that do not have a professional CRM system installed. And that's probably the majority of the people. Not everybody has the time and money to spend on a professional system. Today, I will show you a patch of how to locate people that you send emails to and they did not respond. And therefore, the solution will be to select those people and send them a follow-up email template. So they will get, hello, Leo, I sent you an email a week ago. There was no response. Let's talk again. Okay? So this is a patch for this problem. On the left side, when you go to a module such as an opportunities, as an example, on the left side, you will see that you have the filters. And if you search for the email, you will see here one system defined filter, which is the latest email status. The latest email status will show you a criteria of how to retrieve emails based on the last email that was sent. Okay, it's the last email that was sent from you to them or received from the client. So it's both ways, sent and received. Here I will go ahead and I will click on send and I will show you how to work with the opened and not replied. This is usually what's an interest to me. People that opened my emails and never replied or people that never opened my emails. Now, in those two cases, usually the result will be the same. If they never opened it or, or never replied to me, for me, it's the same. But I would say that you need to consider the answer because if it was never opened, probably you can send the same email because they never opened it. But if they opened and did not reply, maybe the follow-up email needs to be a bit different, something to enforce the previous message. Now, if you will click on one of those statuses, the second filter will be what will be the criteria of the people that you want to approach. In this case, I will go with last week because all the people that I sent emails last week and they did not respond, those are the people that I want to follow up. And whenever you will run the filter, you will click on apply filter, you will see a list of deals. In my case, it's opportunities that are matching the criteria. I will be able to select them. Then I will click on send email. I will select a template. And then the template, when I will click on send, all those people will get the template. Okay, so in one second, I am able to send an email to everyone. If you have a good system, it will look something like that. And again, I'm, I have a few videos about those topics, but I think it's good to uh, just to show the direction of what needs to be done. The Realist update, it's a great field that is automatically updated and it's updated based on your communication with your audience. For example, this field will be updated when SMS, email, phone call, task, or a meeting is being set or created for this specific opportunity. Now, I saw today a bug with uh, this system. It works well unless you have multiple deals on, at the same time multiple deals in the same time for one contact. In that case, the last update will not work properly because it will update 
for all the opportunities, even if someone responded to one opportunity. So this is good for 99% of the, of the companies out there that they are running one deal at a time. So if the deal is closed, no problem. Let's make the next one. And then everything will work well. Okay. So the real last update. The second one that uh, I like to see as well will be a, a blueprint. And whenever you click on follow up or any button, basically, the system is asking you when is the next follow up. And you will need to select the next follow up. And then what is the reason that you want to follow up? And whenever you are looking at the view, the my open uh, follow ups, you will see the next follow up and you will see the follow up comments together with a, a mechanism that is showing you only the follow ups for today or the one that you missed in the past. So basically, this view is becoming your working tool. You just go and you know exactly who you need to approach. There are also ways to enforce employees using the next follow-ups, using reports that the, the management can see if the person responded or not. And together with the real last update, you can actually see if the employee contacted with the company and if he did his job. Okay, so also you have ways to enforce if people are doing what they should do. Um, that's it. That's it. That's a small patch that I think it's cool and I hope it will help you with your sales. See you next time. Mm -hmm.